I started plucking my eyebrows uh, when I was a teenage girl at the age of 13, 14. My aim was to look like my role models, uh, celebrities, Jennifer Lopez or uh, Nicole Kidman. After five years of plucking, when I was at the age of 19, I just wanted a higher arch. So I started even shaving my eyebrow and I thought it's even nicer to draw them in and draw the tail. After years of plucking and shaving her once bushy brows, Rita wanted to grow them back in time to walk down the aisle, but she soon discovered that she couldn't. That was horrifying because I would just have one eyebrow hair here, the other one here, just um, they would never grow back. I tried many different things like uh, almond oil, olive oil, I would take every recommendation to help them grow back again, but they wouldn't. Then I started to put eyebrow pencil on because it was too embarrassing for me to go out without having eyebrow pencil on. I stopped going swimming because of having this concern that it would all washed off or even I would be reluctant to open the house door. I draw them in every single day and it's frustrating. <laughs> Most people don't know what overplucking can do. Even when, when you're a teenage girl at a young age, uh, you don't recognize what damage you're doing to your eyebrows and they will never grow back. Since being engaged to the man of her dreams, Rita has been worried about how her eyebrows will look on her big day. My fiance never seen me without having eyebrow pencil on, not at all. It's quite scary to think that I will have this kind of look uh, on my wedding day. Looking like a princess is always my dream, so I don't think that's the kind of look that a princess has. It is important for me to have natural looking eyebrow, not having to put eyebrow pencil on for my wedding day. I actually want to feel relaxed on my wedding day and not being too much worried about having a mirror with me to check if it's gone. Determined to get her eyebrows back for her wedding in just six months time, Rita has decided to look into having an eyebrow transplant. I never really liked something like tattoo and I always wanted my own natural hair back. Today she's in West London at the Vinci Hair Clinic to find out if an eyebrow transplant could restore her overplucked brows to their former glory in time for her wedding. She has an appointment with trichologist Dr. Nikolaos Sakintinikis. An eyebrow transplant works in the exact same way as a normal hair transplant. In a procedure that takes around four hours, follicles are harvested from the scalp and implanted in the brow. It then takes three months for the hairs to start to grow. In this area you have a very good density, okay? But you can see now that yeah. the density changes here, yeah, okay? You don't have anything, no hair here. Nikolaus then checks the density of Rita's donor hair to find out if a transplant will be possible. We have a very good density. Oh, so you're happy with that? Definitely, yes. So we will be able with a very small piece of skin from the back of your head to take a very good number of grafts uh, to fill your eyebrows. So it will be an easy job for us. Right. I think it will have a very good result. 25-year-old bride-to-be Rita is in West London preparing to have surgery on her overplucked brows. Dr. Nikolaos Zakintinikis will be performing an eyebrow transplant. He starts by shaving a small area on the back of Rita's head so the donor hair follicles can be harvested. As Rita will be awake throughout the procedure, Nikolaos injects anaesthetic into her scalp along with adrenaline to prevent excess bleeding. You will feel only the first injections. After this, you will not be able to feel anything, okay? He then marks up the area before making his first incision. So, Rita, we're taking the step out now. Let me know if you're feeling anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Two hours into the operation, a Nikolaus cuts away a strip of flesh from the back of Rita's head containing the donor hair follicles. Are you okay? Yes, I am. 
While Nicolas stitches up, the hairs are safely collected and placed in a saline solution, ready to plant in Rita's eyebrows. Yeah, we just finished. I'm very happy with the result, the hard part done. Now starts the artistic and the aesthetic uh, part of the procedure. Rita draws in her desired eyebrow shape, which will act as a template when the hairs are implanted. This is the shape I've always wanted, high arch and then long and cross the tail here. So if I can get this, that would be wonderful. Okay, better. After injecting the area with anaesthetic, Nikolaus begins to make the incision in which each new hair will sit. I'm doing the incisions with uh, the normal flow, the normal direction of uh, the brows. Then we are going to do all the, the incisions for the hair to grow up like this. You know, they will start growing up. Up. Okay, so we need the direction of the normal eyebrow. Once all the incisions are made, Nikolaus hands over to his team, who implant each individual graft. So we're placing in the first row one hair graft. Then we're increasing the density in the next row with two hair grafts. And we're placing as well two hair grafts in the base of the eyebrow. Four hours into the procedure, and all the hair grafts have been implanted. After seven years of having bald brows, it's finally time for Rita to see the results. How are you feeling? Oh my god! Oh my god! Like it? Yeah, I love it! I'm more than happy. I don't know how to thank you. Rita was very excited with uh, the results. The only thing is that she has to be patient uh, for one year to see the final result. Uh, her eyebrows uh, will start growing up after three to four months, like very thin, thin hair, and uh, month by month uh, it will become thicker and thicker and thicker. I can't believe that seven years of overplucking and having no eyebrow at all is over, and I'm looking forward to planning my wedding with bushy eyebrow, new look, natural look. For Rita, her surgery is behind her.